important retractors used in surgery retractors are of two types they could be handheld retractors which are manual retractors we need an assistant to hold them the second type of retractors are self retaining retractors they have a screw in them that holds them in place the first retractor is d wedge retractor it is the biggest in size from the next two it is used to retract intra abdominal viscera the second retractor is morris retractor it is used to retract long structures like abdominal wall and musculature it is smaller than d wedge retractor but it is bigger than the next retractor oak is formed at its distal end which helps it in retracting and holding those structures the third retractor is langan back retractor it is smaller than morris retractor it is also known as right angle retractor it is used to retract layers of abdominal wall it is a broad based retractor known as doyen retractor it is used to pull back soft tissues like bladder it is used useful in laparotomies and pelvic surgeries like abdominal hysterectomy and c section it is used to retract bladder urinary bladder the next retractor is balfour retractor it is a self retaining retractor as you can see the system of screws in it it has lateral wire blades and a central wide blade that looks like a doyen retractor it is used during abdominal surgeries to hold the wound or incision open for surgery the next retractor is jolls thyroid retractor it is also known as friedman retractor it is a self retaining retractor as you can see the system of screws in it in the center it is used to retract soft tissues in small surgical sites like thyroid and vaginal surgeries the next retractor is millens retractor it is also a self retaining retractor as you can see the system of screws in it it is also known as millens bladder retractor it is used in bladder retraction and open prostatectomy last retractor is mastoid retractor it has two blades each of them has four teeth the teeth not only helps in holding the tissue apart it firmly anchors the retractor to the bone it helps in anchoring the retractor it is used most commonly in mastoid surgeries and it can also be used in tracheostomy and thyroidectomy thank you